Today, he's known as the king of bling, but Johnny Dang's jewelry empire was built on hustle all the way back to his days in Vietnam. Now he hopes his story will inspire future generations. Beneath all the bling in Houston jeweler Johnny Dang's life are humble beginnings that started in South Vietnam during a war in the dark. Like no electricity at all. It's real, real tough. Johnny's father, a soldier in the South's army, escaped prison and narrowly made it to the U.S. on a small crowded boat that lost power in the middle of the ocean. So luckily they got uh, rescued by one of the, the big ship. Johnny arrived in Houston years later at 23 years old. August 96. On his second day here, Dang, who had a background in jewelry, went to work for his brother at a Houston flea market. He started giving me my salary, you know. Wow. And then we started this with like $35 a day. His talent was apparent, and he'd eventually open a store in Sharpstown, where he'd meet a then DJ named Paul Wall, a life changing collaboration. Paul is was at a DJ in the club, he could help me to promote. And among his many custom pieces, he might be best known for these, which started at the dentist. The dentist, they got, they make the customer crowd. So she want me to put the one diamond on the top of it for the customer. So that's how I started. Jewelry that spoke so loud, it became a song. I'm changing girls every day. But for all the star clients, the glitz and glam, Dang, who now gives back to his hometown in Vietnam and Houston, says he succeeded through perseverance. Because we have a opportunity to work. That helped him turn dust into diamonds. So this is really, you know, American dream. In Houston, Zach Tawatari, K2U11 News.